the symbol of the consuming fire would seem to have been suggested to the writer by the fire that burned on the mountain of the old law that fire was part of the revelation of god there made to the israelites nor was it the first instance of such a revelation the symbol of god's presence before which moses had to put off his shoes and to which it was not safe for him to draw near was a fire that did not consume the bush in which it burned both revelations were of terror but the same symbol employed by a writer of the new testament should mean more not than it meant before but than it was before employed to express for it could not have been employed to express more than it was possible for them to perceive what else than terror could a nation of slaves into whose very souls the rust of their chains had eaten in whose memory lingered the smoke of the flesh-pots of egypt who rather than not eat of the food they liked best would have gone back to the house of their bondage what else could such a nation see in that fire than terror and destruction how should they think of purification by fire they had yet no such condition of mind as could generate such a thought and if they had had the thought the notion of the suffering involved would soon have overwhelmed the notion of purification nor would such a nation have listened to any teaching that was not supported by terror fear was that for which they were fit they had no worship for any being of whom they had not to be afraid was then this show upon mount sinai a device to move obedience such as bad nurses employ with children a hint of vague and false horror was it not a true revelation of god if it was not a true revelation it was none at all and the story is either false or the whole display was a political trick of moses those who can read the mind of moses will not easily believe the latter and those who understand the scope of the pretended revelation will see no reason for supposing the former that which would be politic were it a deception is not therefore excluded from the possibility of another source some people believe so little in a cosmos or ordered world that the very argument of fitness is a reason for unbelief at all events if god showed them these things god showed them what was true it was a revelation of himself he will not put on a mask he puts on a face he will not speak out of a flaming fire if that flaming fire is alien to him if there is nothing in him for that flaming fire to reveal be his children ever so brutish he will not terrify them with a lie it was a revelation but a partial one a true symbol not a final vision no revelation can be other than partial if for true revelation a man must be told all the truth then farewell to revelation yea farewell to the sonship for what revelation other than a partial can the highest spiritual condition receive of the infinite god but it is not therefore untrue because it is partial relatively to a lower condition of the receiver a more partial revelation might be truer than that would be which constituted a fuller revelation to one in a higher condition for the former might reveal much to him the latter might reveal nothing only whatever it might reveal if its nature were such as to preclude development and growth thus chaining the man to its incompleteness it would be but a false revelation fighting against all the divine laws of human existence the true revelation rouses the desire to know more by the truth of its incompleteness here was a nation at its lowest could it receive anything but a partial revelation a revelation of fear how should the hebrews be other than terrified at that which was opposed to all they knew of themselves beings judging it good to honor a golden calf such as they were they did well to be afraid they were in a better condition acknowledging if only a terror above them flaming on that unknown mountain height than stooping to worship the idol below them fear is nobler than sensuality fear is better than no god better than a god made with hands in that fear lay deep hidden the sense of the infinite 
the worship of fear is true although very low and though not acceptable to god in itself for only the worship of spirit and of truth is acceptable to him yet even in his sight it is precious for he regards men not as they are merely but as they shall be not as they shall be merely but as they are now growing or capable of growing towards that image after which he made them that they might grow to it therefore a thousand stages each in itself all but valueless are of inestimable worth as the necessary and connected gradations of an infinite progress a condition which of declension would indicate a devil may of growth indicate a saint so far then the revelation not being final any more than complete and calling forth the best of which they were now capable so making future and higher revelation possible may have been a true one 